Okay, it's kind of windy out here, but hopefully you can hear me. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a few things I liked and disliked about my new Jeep Wrangler. So, uh, first thing being uh, the remote start. So, say you're in the, uh, the mountains and it's real snowy outside and you want to warm up your vehicle, just press the key fob uh, twice, the stop button, and uh, your vehicle will start up. Uh, so that works in the range of the key, which is uh, a couple hundred feet as I've tested so far. So that's a pretty neat feature. So you can stop and start it with that. Uh, doors need to be locked um, so no one can run off with their vehicle. Uh, but uh, one of the first things that stuck out after doing a walk around on this vehicle was um, right next to the uh, underneath the uh, passenger doors there's this uh, angular piece of metal that sticks out and I'm wondering why Jeep left that there uh, if you got the uh, wheels articulating into the wheel wells I imagine that uh, uh, your tire might actually hit this uh, this angular piece of metal so if I ever did uh, upgrade to bigger tires I'd probably want to chop that off um, I think that's uh, an oversight for Jeep and uh, all the Jeep and Chrysler engineers. Um, so uh, you guys might want to rethink that one. Um, some of the other things I might uh, not like is they gave me this great aluminum filler door, but people can still access your gas. So I, I don't really care for that. Um, I had a friend, a coworker, who went into a restaurant and uh, after he came out, his uh, tank had been punched from beneath and all of his uh, gas stolen. Um, so security uh, is a big factor on Jeep Wranglers, of course. Um, another is there's no hood lock. So all it takes is these two latches on either side of the hood and uh, someone can pop up your hood and steal your battery or your air cleaner. Uh, Lord knows what. Um, so just walking around the vehicle, just trying to figure out what else might stick out. Uh, I did get a set of wheel, walk, wheel locks. Uh, I got a set of five. Uh, I got those off of Amazon. Uh, I believe they're McGuard's wheel locks. So I locked up the spare tire as well. Um, I do like that it includes a full-size spare. So I'll have to rotate that into the mix. Um, wondering why Jeep couldn't include a you know, $50 uh, receiver hitch. Let's see, let me unlock the vehicle. We'll just take a few of the interior features that I really like. Um, I guess the tailgate will lock up if you extend it all the way out. Uh, used to be when you'd be on a slope, uh, you'd have to hold this thing closed or actually sell some lockouts. Um, I like that the top hardware can be stored uh, underneath this panel here so you have a place for all your bolts and uh, roof nuts. I do like that the vehicle has t-tops as well um, and then the 12 volt DC hookup in the back. Uh, there's about six tie downs back here which are nice. Let's just go inside the vehicle. really crappy part um, for my passengers at least is the back seat does not recline whatsoever and so they are held to this very upright uh, position which probably uh, it promotes good posture but if you're real tired and you want to just relax this is probably not the seat to do it um, not horrible but uh, hopefully future models will include a recliner. Uh, we'll have to talk to the Jeep and Chrysler engineers about that one. Uh, let's see what else. Um, the window uh, up and down switches are on the uh, back of the center console. And for the passengers, you actually have to lean forward quite a bit to, uh, to actuate the windows. So that's probably... Uh, a minor tiff there. 
Um, really like the outlet in the front here. And I really like that uh, the center console here has a USB hookup and a 12 volt DC. And someone actually thought to include some little recesses. Say if you're charging a cell phone or an iPod, you, you can actually have the cord stick through without having to um, damage the, uh, the open close function in the latch on your uh, console. I've always sandwiched cords in that and uh, now you don't have to do that. Um, let's see, what else can I think of? Um, on the navigation, you get to, uh, you can download pictures. I haven't done it yet, but you can download pictures to there. So I'll have a little slideshow on your screen. That should be pretty neat. I do like that Jeep included uh, the little uh, headlight and grill logo onto the window. That's pretty neat. And there's also actually a little uh, Jeep climbing a, uh, a mountain in the right corner there. So overall, I'm pretty happy and pleased with this uh, vehicle. Um, if I think of anything else, I will surely uh, note it. Um, here's the little speaker for, uh, or excuse me, the microphone for the speakerphone. And actually, um, the speakerphone w works really well. I haven't had anyone comment uh, that they couldn't hear me and um, it actually works better than that of uh, my BMW or my uh, Mini Cooper that I used to have. So uh, there you have it. Anyhow, let me know what you think. If you have any other inputs, what you like or don't like about the Jeeps, uh, please let me know and maybe we'll agree. Thanks for watching.